hello guys welcome to robot framework tutorial in this tutorial I am going to modify the project so there is a file common functionality dot robot that I have opened on my screen and as you can see that there are the values for example the URL the test URL for the application and the browser that has been hard-coded in this particular test case or in this common functionality page object now what we are going to learn in this tutorial is how you can leverage or how you can use the variables and you, with the users of variable how you can update your script and then provide your input data at runtime so for example in this case this if i want to run my test case on firefox instead of chrome or internet explorer what I need to do is I need to come back to this common functionality dot robot script and then change it to Firefox or IE depending on what um, browser I want to run my test case against similarly if I if I want to change the URL so for example you are testing the application which is the QA environment so qa.ebay.com or you are testing something which is um, pre-prod right so you might have different test environments that you want to test so in that case you need to come back to this particular common functionality dot robot file and update these details now with the use of variables it becomes really really easy to pass these values as the script input data through the command line uh, interface at the runtime so that's what the variables will be uh, used for and um, we'll be utilizing variable to show you how you can update that so in this particular case let's define a variable for the URL okay or the test um, application URL so to define the scalar variable I'll just put dollar two curly braces and then I'll just say URL okay so that's the first variable and then the next variable is the browser okay so we'll say just say browser is the next variable that we will define and instead of hard coding these values here what we'll do is we'll simply allocate these default values to these variables at the top right so we'll say these values there and then in our keyword start test case we'll simply copy these variables and replace the hard-coded values with the variables right so now what will happen is if you want if if you are using URL and browser in any other places then you just have to update the variables here right and then all other places where you are using the URL and browser the details will be updated and don't have to go back and see where all these details are being used and where you need to do these changes right so that's the first step to update the details in the variable and use the variable in the keyword section so that you do not hard code the actual values or the test values in your keyword section or in the test case right now with this particular change in your script you we have included the variables if we go back to the terminal and run the test case with the command robot hyphen d results so hyphen d results is where the results will be stored and then we are running this test so location of this verify search functionality now because we have defined the default values in the variable so it will open the url ebay.com on the browser chrome and will run the test right so in this particular test it will open chrome and do this particular test on chrome right so let's run this so it's open chrome it will type in the search text and click on search and verify the results right so you can see that it has uh, ran the test and the test case has passed one test case has passed now because we have used variables say for example now we want to run this particular test case on Firefox inst instead of Chrome um, the 
the thing that would come to your mind is that we can update the details here right so that's one approach that you can follow that you update the details here in the browser and then run the test right and this time it will launch the firefox browser instead of chrome and will run the test on the firefox browser right so here you can see the firefox browser has launched and it will open ebay.com maximize the browser it will type in the search text and then verify the result so there is some issue with the execution let me open the details and see where exactly it failed right so page should have contained uh, robot but it didn't so it failed at the verification section so let's see right so there is some delay so you can see in the screenshot here uh, wherever in robot framework the failure will occur it will take the screenshot and you can see it couldn't uh, it wasn't able to move to the next uh, page the search results page and it, that's why it failed right so that's fine that we are not looking into the failure or passing the scenario in this uh, tutorial we are looking into how we can leverage the variables and run the test on a different browser with different environment without updating the values in the variable section right so for example here we have the default value uh, firefox browser if we want to run it in a different browser we simply from the command line we just need to pass the variable right so after results we'll just say hyphen v and then to pass the variable so we have two variables if you want to um, test your application or uh, your test if you want to run your test cases on different uh, environments so for example keyway.ebay.com you can simply say hyphen v url then colon and then provide the url for your test a different test environment so in this case if your test environment is keyway.ebay.com then you just provide that and again hyphen v if you want to test it on different browser apart from firefox then you just say hyphen v and space browser colon and in this case i'll say chrome right so now what will happen is just from this command line without touching your script which is common functionality dot robot from command line you can pass these variables um, different values in these variables and these values will take precedence and your test cases will run on this particular qa.ebay.com and the browser will be chrome so let's run this command and see that the chrome browser gets launched and you can see qa.ebay.com so you can see qa.ebay.com here has been uh, launched so definitely it's it's not going to open because that's just the dummy url qa.ebay.com that i'm using to show you how you can update the command line variable how you can update the variables in command line and run your test case on a different URL, different test environment and different browser. So this is a brief introduction about the modification of your scripts using variable and the advantages of using variables in your script. And then how you can use or pass in the variables or script input data at runtime from command line if you're using variables in your script. So hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.